Tulsa mother is one step closer to justice. She says she's watching a second suspect stand trial for the execution style murders of her twin girls. Cedric Poor says he's not guilty of murdering four women back in 2013. Two works you reporter Darcy Jackson heard opening statements along with greeting relatives. Darcy. Yeah, Karen, Sharon Powell says she found some justice when James Poor was sentenced to four life terms in May. Today, she hopes this trial will give her some measure of peace. It seems worse this time than it did the first time. And I, don't, I don't know why. I just know it's more emotional this time than, than the, with James. Seeing Cedric Poor in court takes Sharon Powell back to the worst day of her life. You look at every part of their body, you look at their hands, you look at, you look at them and you just, you wonder why or how or, you know, you want to see their hands and because their hands is what they used to, to do what they did. Every day, Sharon says she thinks about her daughters, Rebecca and Katie, and every day she wonders what if. They were, you know, like my best friends and I had finally gotten old enough, you know, where we get things together and stuff, so it's been real lonely. After several setbacks, she's back in a familiar place, the courtroom, where a jury was finally seated in the case of Cedric Poor. In opening statements, prosecutors described how Cedric helped his brother tie up the women and shoot them each, not once, but twice, in the back of the head. The defense told jurors Cedric wasn't there at Fairmont Terrace. He even offered up his fingerprints to prove it. It's sad. It makes me sad all over again. Powell knows the trial will reopen old wounds, but she'll go through it one more time to close a painful chapter of her life. If I want to see my daughters again, I have to forgive them. You can't be forgiven unless you forgive. And we also asked about Rebecca's young son, Talon. He was found wandering just minutes before those bodies were found. She says he's doing well. The Tulsa County Courthouse, Darcy Jackson, two works for you.